right? So it's the right, the Gauss Jordan elimination method. So this method is I use to solve uh, systems of linear equations. So for example, we have these three linear equations, and we are to use Gauss Jordan elimination method. So first thing to do is we need to get the equivalent augmented matrix of these three equations. We have the augmented matrix, so let's have the coefficients. This is 2, 4, uh, 6. We separate the coefficients by a vertical line. Now we separate these coefficients to be constant on the right side of the equation. This is 18. On the second equation, we have 4, 5, uh, 6, 24. This is 3, positive 1, negative 2. Then this is, then we have positive uh, 4. Alright, so this is the equivalent of method matrix. All we have to do is reduce this one into the wrong echelon form. When we say wrong echelon form, all we have to do is, okay, this is the coefficient matrix. Make all elements below the diagonal, below the diagonal, make all elements uh, zero. So we are to make four, three, and one to be uh, zero. But before that, we may reduce the first out of So as you can see, the first row, they are all divisible by uh, by 2. So we are to reduce uh, row number 1, let's say row number 1 divided by uh, 2. So what is 2 divided by 2? That is 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 6 divided by 2 is uh, 3. Then we have 18 divided by 2 is 9. So we have row number 2 and row number 3 will be uh, the same. So we have 4, 5, 6, 24, this is 3, 1, negative 2, then positive uh, 4. Right, for example, how do we eliminate a uh, 4? How do, we, how, do, how do we make this one uh, 0? Alright, so to make 4 uh, 0 on the row number 2, alright, so 4 is on the uh, second row, so this means Row number 1 will be the same, 1, 2, 3, and then we have 9, the same with row number 3, this is 3, 1, negative 2, then positive uh, 4. So let's have row number 2 will be row number 2 minus 4 times row number 1. Alright, so the equivalence of the elements of row number 2 will be row number 2 minus 4 times row number 1. So this is the same as 4 minus 4 times 1, that will be 0, 5. We have 5 minus 4 times 2, that is the same as 5 minus 8, that will give us negative, or this is negative 3. Alright, then next we have 6 minus 4 times 3. Alright, we have 6 minus 4 times 3, that is the same as 6 minus 12, that is negative 6. Then we have 24, 24 minus 4 times 9, that is the same as 24 minus 36. So 24 minus 36 is negative uh, 12. Okay, that is, okay, for uh, making 4, 0 on the second uh, row. Uh, for example, we make this, uh, we have to make this a uh, 0. How do we do that? Uh, but before that, uh, as you can see, we have row number 2, they are divisible by uh, 3. We can, we can reduce row number 2. So row number 2, uh, just to make all the elements positive, divided by negative uh, 3. So we have first row, 1, 2, 3, then 9 will not be affected. We have 0 divided by negative 3 is 0. Negative 3 divided by negative 3 is positive 1. Negative 6 divided by negative 3 is positive 2. Negative 12 divided by negative 3 is positive uh, 4. Now how do we eliminate this one? Uh, we can have it as we have row number 3 will be equal to uh, row number 3 minus 3 times uh, the first uh, row. So this is the same as 3 minus 3 times 1, that is 0. 1 minus 3 times row number 1 element, that is 1 minus 3 times 2, that is the same as 1 minus 6. So 1 minus 6 is negative uh, 5. Then we have negative 2 minus 3 times 3. Negative 2 minus 9, that will give us negative 
11. Then we have 4 minus 3 times 9. That is the same as 4 minus 27. 4 minus 27 is negative 23. Okay, that is now a zero. Okay, next element. Okay, this one, negative 5. How do we eliminate this one? So we have the first row, 1, 2, 3, then 9. We have 0, 1, 2, 4. Okay, so we may have row number 3 will be row number 3 minus, we have to multiply negative 5 on the second. Uh, row. Let's to eliminate this negative uh, 5. So we have 0 minus negative 5 times 0 is the same as 0. We have negative 5 minus negative 5 times 1. That is the same as negative 5 plus 5. That will be 0. Negative 11 minus 5 times uh, negative 11 minus negative 5 times 2 That is the same as negative 11 plus 10 That will give us negative 1 Then negative 23 minus negative 5 times a 4 That is the same as negative 23 minus 12, uh, negative 23 plus 20 uh, That is negative 5 times 4 is 20 times uh, negative That will be positive 20 So this is negative uh, 3 I will be simplify uh, the third row. Let's say they are both uh, negative. Okay, we can have uh, row number three to be. Uh, we have to multiply negative one on the row number uh, three. So we have the first row one two uh, three then positive nine. Second row zero one two positive four zero zero negative times negative will be positive. And negative 3 times negative is positive uh, 3. So this is already the uh, raw and channel form. So this is already the raw and channel form. If we have to copy that matrix, we have 1, 2, uh, 3, right, then 9. We have 0, 1, 2, then positive 4. This is 0, 0, 1, then positive uh, 3. Okay, the row echelon form, for reason, all elements below the diagonal elements of the coefficient matrix are uh, 0. Then, this is for x, y, and uh, z. You can actually compute for the value of the variables using the row echelon form. If you are to stop on this uh, part of the solution, this is the uh, Gauss elimination method. For Gauss elimination, all we have to do is convert our augmented matrix into the uh, row echelon form. If we have the row echelon form, we can compute for the equivalent of the variables already. So we have, for example, let's take the of the first equation. This is x plus 2y plus, we have 3 times a is that equal to 9. On the second equation, this is 0. We have y plus twice of z is equal to positive 4. And on the last row, we have 0, 0. 1 times a z is now equal to a 3. We have already the equivalent of a z. We have, to, we have to substitute this one on the second equation. We have y plus twice up. We have 3 is uh, z is equal to 3, equal to 4. What is 4 minus 6? We have the equivalent of y is negative uh, 2. Substituting the value of z and y on the first equation, we can have this is x plus 2 times y is negative 2 plus I will have 3 multiplied by 3 equal to 9. So this 3 times 3 is also 9. You may eliminate this one. Negative 4 transpose the value of x is now equal to positive uh, 4. So if you are to stop on this uh, portion of the solution, this is the Gaussian elimination. Sorry. So this is supposed to be okay, the Gaussian elimination. For the Gaussian elimination, all we have to do, uh, all we need is the raw echelon form. But if we are to continue, 
We are to reduce this raw echelon form, that is the Ross Jordan Elimination Hamilton. So if we are to continue, I will stop on the matrix. I on the raw echelon form, this is 1, 2, 3, this is 9. We have 0, 1, 2, this is 4. We have I 0, 0, 1, then a 3. So if we are to continue to reduce this uh, matrix, uh, for example, how do we eliminate this one? Uh, how do we make this uh, element uh, zero? So let's have let's have uh, row number two will be equal to uh, row number two minus twice of row number three. Alright, so we'll be, we'll be having the same row 1, 1, 2, uh, 3, then 9, row 3, 0, 0, 1, then positive uh, 3. Alright, let's have, this is 0 minus, yes, uh, 0 minus 2 times uh, 0 is the same as uh, 0. We have 1 minus 2 times 0 is 1. We have 2 minus 2 times 1 will be a 0. Then we have 4 minus 2 times 3. This is 4 minus 6. That will be negative a 2. Alright, then next. Alright, next element to be eliminated. Uh, let's say this is we are to eliminate this element on the first uh, row. So we are, we are eliminating one element on the first row, so which means the second row will not be affected. 1, 0. This is negative 2. We have the same with row number 3. 0, 0, 1, positive 3. Okay? How do we, how do we eliminate this one? Okay, we have row number 1 will be equal to row 1 minus 3 times row number uh, 3. Alright? So let us uh, solve. We have 1 minus 3 times 0 is the same as 1. We have 2 minus 3 times 0 is the same as 2. Alright, okay, then next is 3 minus 3 times 1. That is the same as 3 minus 3. So we have a, a value of 0. Then we have 9 on the row 1 minus 3 times the element of the row 3. 9 minus 3 times 3, or is the same as 9 minus 9, we have a value of uh, 0. And then the last element, this is a 2. How do we eliminate 2? So we are eliminating an element of the first row. So we'll be having the same first after, second and a third row. 0, 0, negative 2. 0, 0, 1, positive uh, 3. So second row and third row will not be affected. So we have a row 1 will be, uh, how do we compute for this one? So row number 1 will be a row 1 minus 2 times row number 2. Okay, then we have row number 1, that is 1 minus 2 times 0 is the same as 1. Then we have 2 minus 2 times 1, so 2 minus 2 that will be 0. 0 minus 2 times 0 is a 0. Then we have 0 minus 2 times negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 2 will be positive uh, 4. So again, this is for x coefficients, coefficient of x, coefficient of y, coefficient of uh, z. So we have now the values of x equal to 4. The value of y is now equal to negative 2. And the value of z is now equal to positive uh, 3. So by the way, this uh, form is the reduced. This is the reduced echelon uh, form. If we are to continue our uh, solution up to the reduced echelon form, therefore we are using uh, the Gauss uh, Jordan method. This is the Gauss Jordan. But if we are to stop on the echelon form, that is the Gaussian. Elimination. So by the way, we arrive with the same answer. Answers. We have x equal to four. The value of y is equal to negative two, and the value of z is equal to positive. The value of z is equal to positive.